I just wanted to demonstrate my new uh, sensor wheel that bolts onto the end of an Onan uh, generator flywheel. It's 3 16 aluminum. Uh, it's got a paper uh, uh, degree wheel that I made with a CAD program. The four holes are indexed to be 90 or 45 degrees away from the uh, quarter turn marks and under each one of the quarter turn marks is a magnet and uh, the north side of the zero degrees magnet is up so the south end of, a, of the compass points at it and the other three it's all the other way around for the 90, the 180, and the 270. So the south magnets, or the south sides of those magnets are up. Anyway, just wanted to show you what that wheel looks like. And although the, this little circle here doesn't look like it's quite centered, it is because I cut that out. But anyway, so there it is. And uh, in the next scene you'll see me, I've got it hooked up and I've got a prototype of my new uh, uh, Hall effect sensor system using north and south magnets and I'm running it and with a strobe light just to show that indeed it does work and sync up on the Onan and the next step will be to add this uh, 90's Toyota RAV4 uh, CNP uh, coil uh, to the system in place of the existing uh, point system and Onan coil. So this took some adaptation because this uses tiny little spark plug wires and uh, I didn't couldn't come up with a handy way to convert from uh, uh, small uh, from the small spark plug wires to big ones and so that I could make up just the right length of cable. Anyway, so that's the next move. Yeah, I've already tested this system here uh, with another uh, simple setup and so I know that 5 volts does indeed fire this particular uh, four wire uh, coil near plug pack. Okay this, is a okay, this is just a test of my new ignition okay. controller that is soon going on my Onan generator. This Onan generator is my main wood gas test generator and I want to be able to advance spark by at least 40 to 50 degrees or so since I hear that wood gas burns slower than gasoline. So here's what is going on. It's a test of my newest uh, sensor block with north and south magnets. The sensor block is held onto the fan housing with a powerful hard drive magnet so I can rotate it to any position I want. I installed the new timing plate slash degree wheel here that you saw in the last scene. You can see that my little strobe lead shows that the timing is stable. The flashes you see are due to frame rate of the camera. Since the generator is running at just a, a little over 1800 RPMs, the flashes on this video cycle that way as the camera at about 30 frames per second goes in and out of sync. But take my word for it, the strobe pulses are continuous. It's hard to get a good view of the strobe's accuracy. It's my fault that you can only catch a glimpse or two of the degree wheel numbers, but you can see that one of the attachment bolts is standing quite still when the strobe fires. Sorry that you can't read the LCD, but it is reading RPMs at about 1860 to 1900 RPMs with no load, and for now I am simply totalizing hits of the south magnet on the LCD just to prove to myself that that part of the system is working correctly. And on the uh, Arduino Uno board you can also see a red LED flashing and that's just another debug debugging feature that fires every time OCR1A matches uh, reaches compare match. So I've got a lot of work to do on the system yet uh, but uh, it should be uh, kind of fun work. It's updating the software with the actual software that I want to run and I'm going to do some work so that when I try like this to read the LCD that I can actually get it to show up more easily on the screen. And I, I, I really apologize uh, for, for that uh, problem.